Welcome to a Canon 70D tip. Today, how to connect your Canon to your Mac via Wi-Fi. Starting with the Canon, this is the screen, so turn it on, press the menu button, and now keep going right until you reach the setup, so these are the ones with the wrenches, that has Wi-Fi on it. It should be the third one. Go down until Wi-Fi and enable it. Go down one to Wi-Fi function and press OK. A screen will appear with six options this is what you want to connect your Canon to. So the first option is a camera, the second one an iPhone, the third one to your computer, the fourth one to print, the fifth one to upload to the Canon gateway, and the sixth one if you have a DNLA server in your house and you want to stream things directly to it, like videos. We will go left until the remote control, which is connecting to your computer, and when you press OK, you will see that you will have to connect to a wireless LAN. This should be the same wireless LAN information where your computer is connected. So here, let's set it up. When we press OK, it will search for wireless LAN, and here will appear all the wireless LANs available. If yours is not in the list, press any one and then the arrows down until yours appears. Press OK when you're done. Enter whatever password you have for the wireless LAN. It will still ask you if you want an automatic IP setting or manual. Use the same settings as you have for your router. And as a final step, it will ask you to start pairing devices. Press OK here, and now let's move on to our computer. Ensure you have the EOS utilities installed on the Mac before you start this, so use the CD that came with the Canon. When you have them installed, you'll see that when you execute these steps, a pop-up will appear. If you press on the pop-up, the connection utility will come up and what you have to press is connect to this new camera so the Canon 70D. When you press connect it will tell you to execute what's on the LCD of the Canon so this will appear and just press OK that you're authorizing the MacBook to connect to the Canon. What I normally do is that I give each connection a name so in this case since it's bonding to the wireless LAN of my home I'm going to call it home. You can have various connections, so up to three. So let's say you work in an office, at home, somewhere else, and you want to have this functionality. You can put a setting for each one. When you've given it a name, just go to confirm set, and it's connecting to the wireless LAN. And on your computer, you'll now see that a remote utility will appear, and all the functions of the Canon will light from shaded to white. Just to show a functionality, you can actually do remote sh shooting of the Canon. So this is the utility that you can take pictures with, and you can put all the settings of the Canon on it. I'll probably take you through this in an extra video, but as an example, let's take a picture. Right now the Canon is on a table, so it can't focus very well. But if I put it in manual focus and take a picture now, you'll see that the picture is taken and automatically uploaded onto the Mac. So by default, it doesn't put it in the memory card, it sends it to you. And here you have the picture of my living room, and it automatically also opens software to handle the picture. That's the end of this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you want more tips.